This is Andy Perrault for Boxing News. I'm joined by Buddy McGurr in Liverpool. Buddy, um, I think a lot of people would have expected to see you catching a flight home, obviously on the back of that disappointing news of Dan Aziz's injury, meaning he had to withdraw from Joshua Boatsy for it. But here you are, up in Liverpool, working with Khalil Majid. Yes, well, when the fight was, uh, you know, postponed, you know, Khalil's dad said, uh, you're not leaving. I said, I said, I gotta go, man. I gotta take my daughter home because you and your daughter, we're holding you hostage for a few more days. So here we are. And we'll come on to obviously Dan's injury shortly and how disappointing everybody is that the fight can't go ahead this Saturday. But let's start with Khalil. That's why you're here now. How exciting of a prospect do you feel like you have on your hands, buddy? Honestly, the kid, he has all the tools, man. He can fight, man. He's the, he's the real deal. I mean, we still got a lot, a long way to go. Don't get me wrong. But uh, he's willing to learn and he's easy to work with. What are you hoping that he can show on Saturday night and the developments that you guys have shown in the gym, he can show in the ring? Well, the key, you know, I, I don't like to put the car before the horse. I just like to go one fight at a time. So we know what we prepared to do and have to do on Saturday. We get through that and then we go on to the next level. Um, buddy, obviously, let's go on to Dan Aziz now. Like that news about the back injury withdrawing a couple of days ago. What can you tell me about what Dan has suffered and where things currently sit with terms of his recovery? Well, to be honest with you, we trained on Monday. And then when we was driving, he kept arching up in the car. And I'm like, what's the matter, man? He goes, my back. Because I'm going to go get it checked out. Then he went and got it checked out, and here we are. You know what I mean? They said it was a, a sprain or something. Was it something which he was feeling earlier on in camp at all, which maybe he was just managing a little bit better and just flared up, or did he just come out of the blue? Well, a week ago, you know, he goes, I need a good stretch and uh, for my lower back. And uh, he went to a wellness place, I believe, to get it, and he said, I felt a little better. And then, like I said, you know, Monday, when he was came in Monday, he was just, like, complaining about his back. You know, we took it, we did a light workout, and then he goes, yo, I'm going to go get my back checked out. I said, no problem. And he went and got it checked out, and here we are now. Up until that point, buddy, how was he looking in the gym, and how confident were you that if that fight had gone ahead this weekend, he'd have come out on top? Well, I was confident. I mean, you know, every, everything was... was uh, was going on as scheduled, you know, the bus was running on schedule, you know, um, it was, the timing was there, the, everything was just falling in place, and then, then that. Obviously everybody knows that uh, a statement was released recently from Boxer and, and Dan's behalf saying that they're hoping to get the fight rescheduled as soon as possible. Do you have any idea as to when Dan's hopeful of getting that one up? I have no clue, man, I couldn't answer that question. Are they going to keep you hostage until that is better to start training him again? Uh, I'm going home Sunday. <laughs> Obviously, while you're here as well, um, Cam Smith getting ready for Arta Better BF. How's his camp going to kind of good, progress? Good. good. We, you know, we're going to pick it up in about another week. You know what I mean? But everything is good, man. Will he be travelling over to you uh, in the States? We're going to discuss that today, as a matter of fact. I'm sure he's done this interview afterwards. <laughs> um, just with Callum looking into that fight. One thing I'm interested to get your thoughts on is kind of the age factor. People kind of question, is, is the timing right now for somebody to, to throw an art better be able? Do you look at that as a trainer? Do you see signs that he's slowing down? I don't, listen, you, you never judge by age, especially today. I mean, you don't, never judge. You know, I mean, some people get smarter and better with age. So you don't, you don't judge it. You just got to prepare for a young warrior which uh, better be if is. So that's, that's what we were focusing on. I'm not focusing on an older guy, none of that. A lot of people, when we speak about that fight, they expect somewhat of a firefight to ignite at some point. I don't expect you to give away your game plan, but do you believe at some point they will somewhat stand there and trade off and it's whoever is able to land that first big shot? Oh, it's going to turn into a shootout eventually, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, my guy's going to come out on top. Uh, but just whilst got you some fights to get your thoughts on, Devin Haney, Regis Progra had their first press conference yesterday. What are your thoughts on their December 9th battle? It's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be very interesting. I, I sit back and watch and check it out. Sit back, watch it, check it out. How does it play out? Uh, that I, I, won't, I can't answer. It's just going to be very interesting. Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou next weekend. Buddy, um, it's divided opinion. Many people in the boxing world would have liked to have seen Fury Usyk. Do you have any interest in Fury Ngannou? I, I've, I've heard of Ngannou, but I've never seen him fight. So I really can't comment on that, you know what I mean? If you were to see Fury Usyk next, a lot of talk about those contracts being signed. What are your thoughts for undisputed heavyweight title on the line? 
Let's talk about that the week of the fight. <laughs> you're not the only one who said something similar, buddy. Um, I know that everybody's kind of picking up now and you're going to want to kind of go and see your man. So appreciate your time thank you. and thanks for speaking to you. My pleasure. Thank you.